Hey y'all, this is Nona, and today I'm here to do my fundamentals of foundation. The two foundations that I have used in the month of June are this uh, Soap and Glory Kick Ass All Day Foundation. I got this from my tin, my tin, what? My friend Tara, and um, I really, really like it. I hear, and I think this is the one, but this is the dupe for the... Um, uh, CYO that they have discontinued. Man, I made a big mess of that. But it's a really good shade for me. I don't know if y'all can see it here. It's a very good shade for me. And um, I like it. It is, to me, it's, it's more of a medium coverage. But you can build it um, I don't think it's full coverage, though. Y'all, this is irritating me. I gotta get a wipe and wipe this off. It's driving me crazy, uh, being all over my bottle like that. Um, so just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, anyways, this is a very good foundation. I have really enjoyed most of the Soap and Glory products that I have ever used. Um, I have their one heck of a blot foundation, and I really like that one as well. Um, I think they do good foundation. So, I'm excited to have that one. Um, it is one of those um, airless pumps. I like that because, you know, the, the product rises up. Um, I have combo to oily skin. Uh, I would say if you're dry, you might not like this. Because this claims to be 24 hour and sweat proof. Which is totally up my alley. Um, but... I think more oily skin people or combo skin would like this one better. Now this one, the number seven Stay Perfect, this one is medium coverage. It's in a gorgeous glass frosted bottle. I mean, it feels luxury, it feels high end. Got a pump, obviously. Um, it is a beautiful foundation. It says to, that it is all skin types. Um, I believe that. This is its color here. It matches me really well, too. So, um, I think anyone could wear that. I do think that dry skin people would really enjoy that foundation, though. Um, more so than people with oily or combo skin. But W7 products are really good products. Uh, my friend Tara, she just, she raves about them all the time. And I think they have more, uh, like, skincare type ingredients. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think they're like a better formula. Um, this does have uh, sunscreen, SPF 15, and it says on here it's suitable for sensitive skin, and it didn't bother my skin at all. Uh, I do think my skin is pretty sensitive considering my sun allergy, and I have tons of other skin allergies to all kinds of things. So I think this is a really good foundation, but I do believe it's probably better for dry skin people, but I can wear it. Um, I would say I could probably wear this, you know, out. Maybe it's a church foundation for me. Um, if y'all know what that means, I can wear it about a good four hours, five hours, and it looks good. But it will probably start to break down on me a little uh, after that mark. But it's a really nice foundation, and I'm super happy she sent this to me, and I got to try it. So, And I will continue to use it. Anyways, I want to thank Tara for doing this uh, series with me. Uh, she is the one who came up with this idea. I'll have her tinkle, tinkle, what am I talking about? Her channel linked in the description box below. Um, she does all kinds of things on her, on her channel. She does looks and hauls and collections and she's in a lot of project panning. Um, she's also in my Birthstone Beauty collab group. Um, she does collabs with other people. She is very knowledgeable about skincare and makeup. She, she, that is her line of work outside of YouTube. And um, if you need to know anything about skincare, especially number seven or La Roche Posay, like those are like two of her favorites. And just go over and ask her. She she has a wealth of knowledge to share, and I just absolutely love her. She's one of my best best friends. So. Anyways, thanks again, Tara. I love you, girl. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.